Assalamualaikum. I I'm going to show you how to do 5.3b question number one. Determine whether each of the following combined transformation satisfy the commutative law. A combined transformation PQ. So in order to check whether it uh, satisfies or not, you have to do PQ and you have to do QP and see whether the answers are the same or not. Okay. So in order, let's let's talk about PQ first. PQ means that you have to do Q first. Uh, Q is rotation of 90 degree clockwise at the origin. So I have 90 degree here. This is 90 degree. So what I do, I just connect from zero to the to the vertex here. So with the this same distance, so here it will go to this coordinate, which is two negative one. Okay. So for 90 degree, where the center is at the origin, is easy to do. The first coordinate is 2, 1. Okay, write down all the coordinates. Here will be, oh, this is 1, 2 actually. This is uh, 4, 2. This is 4, 3. This is 3, 4. Okay, so x positive y also positive in the first quadrant x are positive y also positive in order to do, to know how to transform into uh, clockwise rotation it will go to this coordinate okay so what is the difference okay so if you can see here all right so the coordinate of 1 2 from here under 90 degree it will go to this coordinate. This is 2, negative 1. Okay? 2, negative 1. So, do we have to do to use this? Uh, in other cases, yes. But not in this case. So, what you do, okay, if you see 1, 2, you just twist, become 2, 1. But then, in this quadrant, the x is positive, but the y is negative. Okay, so let's do another one. So, coordinate of 4, 2, it will go to 2, 4. Okay, 2, 4. But in this quadrant, X is positive, but Y is negative. So, it actually will go to 2, negative 4. 2 and negative 4. Here, uh, negative 2, negative 4. So, 2, negative 4 will be there. That is the other coordinate. Let's say... This is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. So, this is A prime, B prime. Okay, so C prime, 4, 3, it will go 3, 4, but 3, negative 4. 3 and negative 4 will be here. Okay, so the distance of B to C is 1. Distance of B prime to C prime will also be 1. Okay. Because they are going to be the exact figure. So, we have C1 and then we have D. Uh, 3, 4. It will be 4, 3. But then it will be actually 4, negative 3. So, if you connect them, it will be the same figure. That figure. Okay. From Q... We are we have done Q, okay. Then we do P from this figure. We do P. What is P? P is enlargement at the origin with the scale factor of two. Um boy. Okay. Why I say um boy? Because I might not have enough figure. Okay. From the center. Okay. In order to do enlargement, it will go two, and then it will go another one. Okay. So like this one. And it go to this one. Okay. So if you just draw a straight line. Draw a straight line from the center to the coordinate. And then you calculate again measurement of this. Whatever is the length, you measure the same thing. So it's just one box go going down and two boxes to the right. Do the same. One box going down and two boxes. Uh, so this is the A prime prime. But unfortunately for others, it will be difficult because this one will be 4 and 2. Then 4 and 2 
will be somewhat below here and uh, I cannot really draw that eh? okay and uh, but uh, it's okay so just like this one so to this coordinate will be one two three and one two three four so you go down one two three and one two three four so this coordinate what is that coordinate eight negative six eight negative six and uh, we have one okay and C, how about C? 1, 2, 3, 4. Going down 4 and going uh, right 1, 2, 3. So you do the same. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Will be somewhere there. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think it should be a little bit there. Okay. So we con connect them. There is the other, the other figure. Okay, I think you cannot see that. I just realized, sorry, that you cannot see. All right, uh, that is the figure going down over there. Okay, unfortunately, this is uh, all right. Okay, because I didn't plan for it to go down there. Okay. Outside the figure that is given. Okay, right. Then, so that is the figure. So what happened if, let's say, we, this is what we say PQ. Alright. So PQ means we do Q first and then we do P. How about, let's say, we do P first. Okay, from this figure, we do P. Okay, so then... We go, okay, one and uh, we have to do enlargement, okay? So, one and two and then you go one and another two. So, A prime will be there and then uh, similarly with one, two, three, four and another four. And so what we do, where it, what is the figure? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2. It will be over here. That is the B prime. Similarly with C. Uh, 4 from the center and going up 3 places. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Going up 1, 2, 3. It will be there. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, from here to, to A, it will be uh, 1 and 2. So, 1 and 2. Okay, we have already A. So, we have, do we have B? Um, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2. Oh, okay, B prime is here. And then we have C prime. And then uh, we do not have D yet. Okay, so from the center... 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is uh, the prime. Okay. So, let's uh, connect them. Okay. Uh, A, we're connecting to B. B, connecting to C. Okay. A prime, connecting to uh, B prime. And B prime connecting to C prime, C prime connecting to D prime, and D connecting to connecting to this one. So what is important about this figure? This is enlargement uh, because the scale factor is two. So each side is enlarged by two. So actually the figure should be this line, okay? Enlarged by two. So this is three. This is six. This is one. This is two. This is 1, this is 2, this is 1, 2, this is 4. Okay? And uh, now we do, uh, this is P. Okay? So now we do, what? Rotation of 90 degree clockwise at the origin. We rotate them. Okay? We rotate. Okay, let, let's look at this coordinate, which is, uh, this coordinate is 2 and 
one, two, three, four. Okay, the coordinate uh, A prime is two, four. With a uh, ninety degree clockwise, so we can use this triangle. Okay, so we can see that from A, uh, from center goes to A, we take about one, two, three, four boxes, or from O to A will be two boxes to the right and four boxes to the uh, above. So, it's like this. Something like how many centimeters there? It will go to this part. So, what I want to show you is that this figure will definitely go to this figure. Will be uh, uh, under rotation of 90 degree, clockwise rotation of 90 degree, this figure will definitely go to this one. Okay? So, in this case, we say PQ equals to QP. So, PQ equals to QP. It means that uh, the this figure follow or satisfy the commutative law. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's continue with B. We want to know whether PER equals to RP. Let's uh, let's do PR first. PR means we do R. R is what? R is translation negative one four. Translation negative one four. A you move one step to the left and four step up. Okay, so you move A from A and then you go to the left one and then go up uh, because that's translation negative one four. So one and then one, two, three, four. So this is um, A prime. Similarly with others. So B, B one and then one, two, three, four. So B prime is here, C, 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, so C prime, and then D, 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, so this is D prime. So then we draw a line, connecting them, so this is R, okay, from this figure, uh, rotation of negative 1, 4 will, will go to this figure. And then from R, we go, we do P for this one. P is what? Enlargement at the origin with scale factor of 2. Um, boy, okay. So, it might not be enough. So, I need to take this out first. Okay, yeah? alright. So, from this figure, uh, okay. So, scale factor of 2 from center goes to that 6. 6 and then another 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, A prime, prime, prime will be there. Okay? And then, uh, I'm not sure whether we can have the figure drawn. Okay, and then I want to draw, to know where is this, where is B prime prime? From the center, I will go 1, 2, 3 to the right. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to, uh, above. And then, I will do the same thing. From B prime, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh -huh. So B prime, B prime prime is there. So this is the line A, A prime, B prime, it goes to that. Okay, so uh, I don't have to really to draw the whole thing. Okay, uh, but then, uh, so I will just... Uh, look at whether the same thing will happen when I do RP. RP means I do P first. From the from center, I do P. P is what? Enlargement at original scale factor of 2. Mean from the center, I will draw, uh, goes to A. Uh, go, how to go to A? Go, uh, go uh, to the right, one step and two step uh, to the to A, okay? And then we do the same. And then so, from A, 1, and then 1 and 2. So, this is the A prime under P, yeah?
Okay, so uh, the same thing with B. So from center, uh, uh, four and two, and then I'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four, and one and two. Okay, so how is this actually enlargement be done? Actually, you just connect from the center to the figure and then just draw a straight line until the length from center to B is the same with center from B to B prime. Okay, let's say this is 5 cm, so this has to be 5 cm. So this is B prime. Okay. So, like this. So, and C, I know it will be up here. Okay, it will be because, cent because of scale factor of 2. If you see that figure A, B is 3, this figure will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 times 2. So, this figure is 1. 1 times 2 will be 2. So, C is C prime. And then D will be definitely will be 2 around like that this is like like this is one and then times two so d will be d prime will be there and then what you do just connect them okay so you have this is a uh, figure p okay figure p because we do p first just now we did r first so now from this figure let's do let's do what r translation negative one Four translation negative one four means everything you move one to the left and four uh, up to the up. Okay, so negative one, so you go left one and then go up three. Uh, sorry, four. Go down, uh, go left one step and then four step up. So one, two, three, four. So the figure A prime prime will be there. So I can say. Uh, PR is not because uh, from the PR this is A prime prime so from RP this is R prime prime just to make sure let's do that B prime okay so 1 to the left and then 1 2 3 4 so this is B prime prime so this is the line A prime B prime under RP so this is R, P. This is line of A prime, B prime under P, R. So, are they, uh, are, is R, P following the commutative law? No, because R, P is not equal to P, R. If for it satisfies the commutative, uh, commutative law, just like A, you do A first or you do P first or you do R first, doesn't matter. Okay? Alright? Okay, hope you understand. Assalamualaikum.